Alex. It's heart attack time. It's finally here, and I don't know why. <coughs> Ludo is the face of it. And yes, I'm still um, recovering from a cold, so... Yes, you... This is Bobby Agake on the Butterfly Show, and um, my family's downstairs, so that's what I'm going to be happy to speak a little low today and I wanted to just get this some quick intro out of the way only because I've been dying to see the new promo for Star. I've already seen uh, too many um, clips. I mean, too many is like a few images. Like, I saw like images of like Baby Meteora, Eclipse on Trial, Star's hair is in that her butterfly form where it's like the antenna, although she's not in the form itself. So... I don't know, it's so weird. I mean, Adam McArthur and Darren FC have been teasing this as R.I.P. and things like that. So, I don't know. Um, I'm I'm borderline one of those crazies when it comes to these really um, scary star romos. Um, <coughs> again, I don't really know why. As much as I like the show, I really try to be as... Um, um, is objective as possible, and I try not to overreact. The times I've overreacted to Star was in the episode Is Mystery, were just the tension, and then when they revealed the um, maze under Butterfly Castle, I got so much chills, I almost puked, to be quite honest. And the same thing happened when I saw the Battle for Muni trailer, so... Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not even kidding, that's, um, how I felt, um, I guess sometimes I can't control what my body is, so, if I start freaking out, um, you'll know why, so, uh, at this point, let's just get into it before I get a heart attack waiting, so, let's go. The butterfly effect. Isn't it bonkers that Hainas is Eclipse's daughter? Change one thing. My daughter had pretty little clovers on her cheeks and the cutest tail in all of Muni. <laughs> a tail? tail? Change everything. Beast can spare your fears before you're even afraid. Ah! I request a time by walls. Are you sorry for what you've done? No, no. I'm not. Hello, starry Marco. Oh, my microphone. <coughs> okay, that's scary. Seriously, this is really a tame reaction compared to um, the worst reactions I've had to Star episodes. So, okay, um, Ludo's back. Meteora has a tail. I really should get a better standing surface for this mic. What is Eclipse on trial, though, for s for specifically? And what was with the I know. that freaking cube? I mean, I know it's the same, the true for their cube, but I, what is that dragon thingy majig? I don't know. And then there was Monster Harm, and then Meteora has a tail. We know she has. Like I said, a monster arm. Um, okay. So, I don't know, it's so weird. I sound like I'm empty, but I guess I'm just relieved that this trailer didn't give me a heart attack. But, these are some pretty <coughs> um, interesting questions. <clears throat> if my mic won't stop, I'm falling down. So, the gist of it all is basically... I'm surprised. You would think they would save that. I mean, that's almost the flaw with the trailer, I think. That, But I guess the surprise is more exactly what is Eclipsa on trial for. Or, 
better. Like, like I'll admit, I did think that Eclipsa was gonna go like on a rampage. Like, her trial was where was where she was going to turn, you know, legitimately turn evil. Yes, I know. Up to this point, um, maybe if I just adjust the footing there, um, Eclipsa was pretty much gonna be the next villain after. <coughs> Okay, at this point, I don't think my mic is going to stand on my laptop very well. Um, hold on a second. And... And I knew that they were going to play, like, the sort of waiting game with Eclipsa. Like, they were going to keep teasing us whether she's really good or bad, but I guess this time AMG, AMG it's really hard to say, I wish I wasn't so oh sick um <clears throat> that, it's not even that she had like bad intentions per se, it's just that some of the ways like let's say maybe she had to defend her um relationship with her monster husband were um, like the magic itself, not so much what she did. Is there at this point? I'm just jotting ideas. I mean, it's I'm legitimately just um, giving my first impressions of the trailer. Although you know, fans have speculated for a long time what you know Eclipse is truly capable of. As <coughs> you've heard in the past, Gabby herself has said that she's hoping Eclipsa isn't evil, although there are fans out there that are suspecting that um, there's a lot more to Eclipsa and she is really bad, and I'm kind of in the same boat, but at the same time, I know I'm trying to make it's almost kind of like what they have in Star Wars, where although it's not as um, blatant, where instead but in this case, it's not that like in Star Wars where um, Darth Vader is, you know, on the dark side. And even though Luke Skywalker is a good character, he definitely has one foot in that um, dark side because of his father. In this case, the um, quote-unquote evil character isn't herself, like, totally evil. It's just that the magic she has is a little less than... Um, kosher, let's say. Oh my god, this mic will not stand still. Um, I'll probably just have to hold it for the remainder of this. But there's a minute we though, Baby Meteor is cute. But this is sad. Could it be possible this is where Eclipsa was crystallized? <coughs> but what's going on here? Here, yeah, is Star being prevented from turning into her, um, butterfly form? Eh, I guess we could only speculate. Pony heads, Queen Moon. I'm guessing after, um, Eclipse. Look at Moon's reaction, even though it looks like Star is ready to. Does she even. It looks like she's gonna like crystallize her or something. Even Moon is not sure. And the weird thing is, if you remember from the episode, I forgot the name, but the I don't remember the name of the episode, but the episode where Eclipsa came back. I remember Moon was very um for recrystallizing her, and then Star was the one who wasn't. So now it's um starting to get more conflicted. You know, it's starting to become more of a mess. I'm assuming. Um, and you could see her in shackles. Um, it's so weird. Usually I don't like doing these kind of trailers. Um, spider hits moon on the head. Um, holy crap, knocks the crown right out of her, her head. How rude. But, <coughs> feel that's, um, all I can really say. Um, it's very interesting how they portray Eclipsa is like she's done technically nothing wrong. The only thing is that her magic um, is. It's hard to define. I don't want to say it's not that it's good, but um, 
It does some pretty um, harmful stuff. Like, gee, I don't know, it could be used to kill something that... And I'm saying that to Eclipse's face. He just kills, <laughs> kills something that's immortal. Or used to... Um, um, break... To, um, break in to somebody's life and destroy their privacy through the all-seeing eye spell, but, um, I'm sure the minority precogs, minority report precogs could tell you all that about, could tell you <coughs> all about that. Maybe I should review that movie someday. But other than that, um, I think it's a pretty, um, surprising trailer. And as for that one bit at the end where Eclipso reveals that she doesn't regret anything, I think the secret isn't, it's, like, it's definitely surprising that she has no regrets, but I think the surprise in itself is more, what did she do that, um, was deemed so bad by Moon? And it seems... Either Moon is turning a new leaf, or Star is turning another leaf where now she went from supporting Eclipsa. I mean, I know she said that she wanted to give Eclipsa a free trial, but that doesn't mean she necessarily super trusted her. But she was um, friendly to her and accepted her advice on a couple of occasions. But maybe it's starting to become more messy and conflicted. So, but that's what makes it interesting. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm not really going to get into um, what I think the episodes are going to be about. That and also I don't know why this try, this um, mic stand will not stand still. Uh, maybe I should have done this on a table. I'm not really going to get into the details. If you want to speculate, go ahead. Like I said, I already did an episode. I'm talking about um, Marco Jr. and how it could either be Naysaya or very unlikely a laser puppy. Um, Bog Beast of Bagaba, I don't really know. Total Eclipse of the Moon. I'm assuming Hing um, is going to be the one with the trial. Butterfly Trap, um, Ludo, where art thou? <coughs> Are they trying to find Ludo? Obviously, um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the Coen Brothers movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Where it's kind of like the Odyssey, except it's set in the Dirty 30s, starring George Clooney as this dimwit. Yeah, I could be over-speculating, but maybe. Is another mystery, uh, like I... If you already heard what I said earlier in the video about Is Mystery, oh boy. Marco Jr., Schooled, Booth Buddies, Barn, UA Petty, or <coughs> Tough Love, which. Shipping bait? And at April 7th, we don't know. Steven speculates it might be a one-hour affair again, like they do with a lot of the star finales, so maybe that could be it. Um, <coughs> not sure if it's going to be as big as last season when we had um, Star Crushed and Face the Music, though. What was I about to say? Um, something interesting on March 3rd, um, for... Um, my Nintendo fans out there, um, you might remember that, that was, that's the anniversary when the Nintendo Switch came out. I remember last year, I invited Steven and Gabby to come with me to um, GameStop that midnight. And while we waited for the Switch to go on sale, we actually sat down and watched the bottom half of the second season of Star, including, um, that was the night I saw Bon Bon, I saw, um, <coughs> um, Raid the Cave, the, um, Crystal Clear episode, um, the, the one about the sensei's birthday party. There's a ton I'm missing, um, but it was pretty much 
everything up until I think Face the Mu- Yeah, I saw Face the Music and Star Crush at a later date, but yeah. So that was a pretty cool experience, um, although getting introduced to hearing Dip Down Star Talk was a little too much for me. Um, so yeah. But it's pretty sweet. Um, it's such a cool coincidence that uh, March 3rd, not only is it the anniversary of when I watched um, Star with um, Stephen and Gabby while waiting for the Switch, but it's also the day when Star comes back and where Star fans come to cheer and we're all going to die from worrying about what's going to happen to Star or Mark and everybody. So... <laughs> <clears throat> but I guess that's why we like this series. So I think um that'll about do for my um take on the promo. I'm definitely um it's definitely a very interesting promo. I guess I'm just glad that like I'm not having a heart attack. Not that anybody should overreact. We should be on the edge of our seats, but we shouldn't be on the verge of being physically sick when it comes to these episodes. So all right, and I would just like to um say I'm very sorry um I didn't attend um Long Beach Comic Expo. <clears throat> As you could see, I'm pretty sick and uh, and actually um this past Saturday um it's actually I'm um, doing pretty um poorly health-wise. Like I had a serious headache. I was running a fever. I could even barely walk to be quite honest. Um but um luckily my sister was able to make um this some um, wand. Um I wanted to go as Magic Marco with the cheeks and carry this um with me. Although obviously it's too late for the Long Beach Comic Expo. So maybe I'll do that for Anime Expo or WonderCon. Um I am planning to go to the Disney Television Gallery exhibit at the Gallery Nucleus. <clears throat> That's this coming Saturday, and I'm hoping, and I'm going to be dressing up as Blood Moon Marco, just like I did for Anime Expo and last year's Long Beach Comic Con. So, if you see a guy walking around um, in the Blood Moon Marco cosplay, chances are it will be me. So, all right, guys, um, I hope to see you guys there. I hope you um, enjoyed this trailer. Hope you didn't get too scared. And this has been the Butterfly Show on Blood Moon Bobby, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, this has been the Butterfly Show on the Blood Moon Bobby YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more of our discussions and trailer reactions to episodes of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Please like, comment, share, and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.